Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel. I have been thinking that I really wanted to start a new challenge so I can kind of have three things going at once. Mostly because when I start filming, I really want to just keep going and going and not stop. But I know when I'm trying to film, I can't film everything at once because then I'm going to have so much content and then not have enough time to post it all in a timely fashion. So this is a new legacy challenge. It is a 10 generation challenge. As of right now, I know everyone on YouTube or a lot of the bigger channels are doing the Not So Berry Challenge, but I actually just finished that in personal gameplay and I didn't want to do it again, at least as of right now, because I'm like on the last generation. I just don't want to do all of that again so soon. So I decided to actually take some inspiration from the channel Ocean Sims and start the Family Dynamics Challenge. This is a challenge that was created by Pastella Pixels and Standing Simmer. And this was created specifically for The Sims 4. This is a, a challenge that is centered around a variety of family dynamics. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out because I know that I am pretty boring <laughs> in my gameplay. Like I usually have families, they get together, they're happy. Usually no drama, but I've been trying to branch out of that a little bit because I feel like I just played the same things over and over and that causes me to get bored. So I'm hoping that this will get me out of my comfort zone a little bit more. And just a few general rules starting up the challenge. So you have to begin with a single sim. No cheats or mods that um, serve to enhance gameplay over other simmers. So I guess like no money cheats, nothing that's going to like increase your skill gain faster, things like that. That's probably what that means. Um, I'm going to be following rules loosely. Like I'm going to try to follow them to the best that I can, but I'm not going to be super strict on myself if I don't always like have everything spot on. Um, it says you can use free real estate on the first generation. I technically did because I am in a safe aisle and the house that I moved into was furnished. And because of that, she didn't have enough. <laughs> I think she was short by like five, 5,000 simoleons. And I'm probably going to end up deleting some stuff. Or I don't know. I just left it for now. We'll see as we go on. Um, but even though I use free real estate, I did take away most of my Sims money. So um yeah anyway continuing on with rules uh custom save files are allowed and encouraged each career and aspiration must be completed unless expressly stated otherwise and if a career isn't specified you can choose whatever you want and um the last one is just about having fun with the challenge and just doing what you want creative wise unless you know, you have to do something specific for the rules. So that is just basic rules. So moving on to generation one and the setup for generation one as well as the requirements to complete this one. So generation one is white picket fence. From the time you strike out on your own as a young adult to dream of cultivating loving fam familial relationships as rich and unique as the dishes you love to create. You marry younger than some of your friends, raise a bundle of children, and enjoy gardening and entertaining in your spare time. Yet you still devote a portion of your life to your hidden dream of becoming a master chef. So traits that are required for this generation are to have the outgoing foodie and family oriented traits, aspiration is successful lineage, uh, career is culinary going into the master chef branch and then more specific rules for this generation are to complete at least five go level dinner parties which should be interesting because i do not throw parties <laughs> in the sims at all unless it's like birthday parties here and there um master cooking and baking skills i also very rarely touch baking so that should also be interesting um marry as a young adult and stay happily married until death do us part have three to four children, maintain a garden with at least 10 unique plants, including a cow plant, and complete at least three-fourths of the aspiration. And then also upon completing level five of the culinary career, you may also choose to leave the career and open a restaurant instead. I kind of want to do that because I feel like I haven't touched trying to open a restaurant since the beginning. 
um but we'll see how it goes as the challenge goes on or as this opens up so yeah those are the requirements for the first generation and we're gonna see how that goes so here's the sim that i'm going to be starting with her name is raven dean I believe we'll go into cast in a bit and I'll just verify that for you guys. So here's Raven. As you can see, she has all of her the traits that are required for this generation. Um, as well as the aspiration. I didn't think I gave her any likes and dislikes, but I did. So just kind of briefly looking up in the corner here, you can see I gave her likes gardening and cooking. Now that I'm also looking at it, she needs to do baking as well. So I am going to go ahead and add that one as well because I yeah that is an option. This is her first outfit. I don't know why I felt the need to go through these but here's her first outfit. This is her second outfit. I wanted to play around with some of the CC I had so she has this hair. I don't feel like I've ever used this before but I think it's really cute. Um, here's her formal. I'm just thinking you know she took the buns down trying to get a little bit more mature look. Got some extensions in. Anyway that's her formal this is athletic which i think i might change i just put that on and decided to leave it her sleepwear party wear this is another one that i'm thinking about changing but for now this is what it is and now that i'm realizing that i didn't give her any little clips this is her swimwear uh her what is this hot weather and her cold weather so yeah those are all of her outfits uh those probably aren't super important because i may or may not change them but that's what we have her in for now she needs to join did i skip past it already probably yes she needs to join the culinary career so let's just go ahead and have her do that and she'll start tomorrow so i believe i am technically in the same save file as my 100 baby challenge which i didn't intentionally do i just don't have that many save files um so yeah this is the little house that she is in this is one of the very tiny lots that is in oasis springs i can't remember exactly the name of the save file i think it's like little root 1.5 or and it's made by tiny cow plant but um yeah i decided to go oasis spring because this was one of the neighborhoods that had small houses that i liked i appreciate that it's small so she could technically afford it at this point but it also has room to expand so you can see there's a crib as well as a toddler bed so we can have at least two kids in here before we would definitely have to move and um, i did have to kick somebody out but you know that's the nature of the game when you have a save file with which is already populated it's room to expand there's some garden and stuff back here i can get rid of or change stuff around as we need also another thing that i liked in the save file that i noticed is that this creator used a lot of the fabricated items and because i have very rarely or barely played with the eco lifestyle pack i don't have access to a lot of this stuff because you have to make it and then you have to have the dye so you can make make each color and i just haven't had any of those so i really like having all of these different items especially this bed it's 10 a.m on a monday she doesn't have work until tomorrow evening i believe she does need to work on these things and maybe start working on some skills as well but i think number one goal as of right now is possibly to try to find somebody to start dating because three to four kids i have my lifespan set on normal there aren't any requirements is what i was trying to say as far as lifespan so I just have it on normal for now. I might end up changing it at some point. Ooh, we have an onion plant. We're going to definitely get that. Does she actually find him attractive? I've never actually played with Salem or Salim, however you say his name. No, she does not. So we're going to ignore him. Who is this guy? Oh, he's actually from my save file. I mean, my folder. I used him in something, another type of challenge that I was playing on my own like years ago. I don't think I want to make babies with him because he has very strong features that definitely carries on to children. And we're going to have another situation where my sim finds literally everyone unattractive, which is not great. 
he doesn't like her either. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, can we go all the way down here? No, we can't. Yeah, so the first two guys are definitely not a hit. She already has a little bit of cooking, but we're going to go travel somewhere only because she needs to find somebody. And I kind of want to do it quickly, especially because she has to marry as a young adult. Okay, so we're at the park, which is definitely different from the original Oasis Spring Park. I really sometimes do not like this camera. I just wish we can like rotate or like angle the camera. Ooh, there's like a little wedding venue here. So maybe whenever she gets married, even if it's not like a huge wedding ceremony, she could come to the park for that. Um, but what I was about to say is that while I was waiting on this to load up, I was actually looking through some of the next generations to see what's in store. And <laughs> I don't think I prepared. It was one generation in particular. I was just like, oh, okay, we have to do that. Um, but it should be fun or different, I should say. Maybe not fun, but definitely different. I like that there's a lot of activities to do here. But I don't see people. While we're waiting on someone, let's go make some cookies. Just because she needs to work on her baking skill. Um, and you know what? I just realized I could have waited on the like welcome wagon. I don't know if that's going to come today. But I probably should have waited to make sure. Because that could have been an easy way to meet some people. And I am finding a hard time. Victor Fang is married and I don't think that Raven would be the type to break up a marriage. She doesn't seem like the type. Like she wants to be happy but not at the expense of someone else. So I'm not going to try to break up any marriages just to get her with somebody. Unless she's just like really really attracted to them. But even then why are you sweating? It's like hello? I'm confused. I'm pretty sure this guy is also married, so why are you coming to talk to us? We need husband material, not just randos, please. Sorry I'm moving around a lot. I'm trying to find Sims that she can talk to. Honestly, I'm trying to find guys that she can talk to, so we can start looking into that. I don't think I want to do anything with celebrities. That seems like too much work. And that does not seem like the type of lifestyle she wants right now. Like, she doesn't really want... To be in a public eye. She just wants a happy, simple family. What do you think he's talking about? <laughs> he's like, so you're making cookies, huh? Are you sharing those cookies? Not in a suggestive way, though. <laughs> okay, you can go to the bathroom. Because he's not talking about much. Or not talking about nothing that I need him to be talking about. I guess she also needs some friends, maybe. I don't know. Oh wait, she's a teenager. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna go somewhere else because this is not doing it. It's not enough people here for me. Okay, so we're now at another bar. I'm really hoping <laughs> that I don't waste this entire part just like going around trying to find stuff. Um, I might like speed through or skip some time because you know, just get her started to work on the skills and things that she needs to get through the generation. Just because it's like really nothing going on or like I can't find people. Girl, what did you just spend money on? Oh my goodness. The downside of having Sims come to a bar. What is this? Barley Wine Ale. Is that her favorite drink or something? Who is this guy? Why is literally everyone an adult? I don't understand. Like I'm almost tempted to start aging people down if she finds someone. But he's probably also married. Like I just assume that all adults in this game are married with kids. Like I... And I also don't understand why she's dripping in sweat. Is it just that hot outside? Because she hasn't been doing anything active that I could remember. Well, he finds her flirty. Let's actually ask if he's single. Because I'm not opposed to aging anybody down. That's not against the rules. <laughs> if I need to. He is single. So, if we need to, we can age him down. Look, I'm just like first person. 
He finds her attractive. I don't want to flirt with him because it's like a lot of people in this thing. Um, ask what he likes in a person. And can I like accept this? Oh, it's too late. That's fine. I kind of didn't want to because I was just like, oh, that might be a bad idea. Um. Oh, what I was trying to do. Did she find him? He dislikes the color brown. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to take that. Oh, I didn't mean to go here. I meant to open up his profile. She thinks he's basic looking. I don't know why my sims are so picky. Like, there's nothing wrong with having standards, but literally everyone. Like, I kind of want to know his traits to see if I want to, like, age. Is he worth aging down? And I kind of want to go for, like, a sim that I guess I wouldn't typically go for just to kind of switch it up a little bit. Because I feel like I usually end up, my sims end up with the same kind of people. Also a thing with this save file is that I think these sims have backstories for all of the new sims that were added. So it's possible that some of these people can have like affairs or stuff going on in the background. I just saw the Humor Hijinks Festival. I feel like we should go just to get some quick money and possibly meet some other people that's really the main reason why i will be going is to get to know or meet other people did we learn any of his traits um actually can we ask about his career sir do you work i mean it's not like we have a whole oh wait wait where is he going wait 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 sir Okay, I just wanted to learn a little bit more about him. And he's just like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm gone. Is he really, is he really just going to, oh, wait, he stopped. Um, so it looks like he might be an artist. I can't get to know him. Yeah, he's works as a painter. He's gloomy. Um, I feel like the gloomy trait is not that bad in this game. I really want to know more of his traits. But he is potential, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to force it and it's not there. So, he was trying to leave. So, I'm going to, we're going to go to the Human Hijinks Festival since it's in a city, we might be able to meet more people. Who knows? It might be somebody there that she likes even more. Okay, so now we're at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. This is one of the... Not a lot of options so far. Is she ordering food? She is. I was going to have her cook because, you know, she needs to work on that. But she can also learn these recipes, so... I'm not mad about it. Do I want to have her like participate in the festival to get stuff? I feel like we should just go ahead and join one so that we can because we gonna, we're going to need to save up money event to eventually move because the house that we're in now is not a forever home because it's definitely not big enough to have three to four kids. So... I need to, you know, think about that. But at the rate we're going, I feel like we're not going to be with anybody because there's no one really around. I really don't think there's going to be much that much I'm going to get done in this part. Oh, they're tired of her. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl, what? Okay, we won. That's all. Let's go home. That's all I wanted, honestly. I think possibly for the rest of this part, I might just work on her skills and try to get her promoted and things like that. That's pretty much, I feel like, all I can do right now. I Like I said, I think I might go ahead and try to age up or age down. What's his name? I don't even remember his name. This guy, Ryder. Because right now, he's the 
best option. Uh, see, look. Now, you saw when I opened it up before. She thought he was just basic looking. Now, he's extremely attractive. So, I, I, like, I feel like when my Sims, like, start talking to people, they eventually start to like how they look. He might be the option that we're going with. Just have to work on his age. Or we might just go with the fact that she gets with an older person. Like, she know what she wants and... Um, he's finally gotten through his younger days and he's ready to settle down. So maybe we'll just go with that. Um, it'll be interesting. We'll see. But I'm going to take care of her needs and I'm going to, I don't know what time does she work? Um, yeah, she's going to work. So I'll probably come back when she gets off unless something happens in the morning. But I will cut out and come back when something else, else interesting is happening. All right, so Raven is finally back home from work. She actually did end up getting to promotion. So I do need to work on her getting another cooking skill in order for the next promotion, which we should definitely be able to do. I think she might be about halfway through to, actually she's more than halfway through to her next cooking. So I'm actually just gonna take care of her needs for a little bit. And we're going to just go ahead and actually invite, invite over writer yeah here he is because I decided instead of continuing to look I'm just gonna go with him he isn't the type that I would normally have her go for and he is also an adult but I when I checked on his age he's actually at the beginning of his adulthood so he's a little bit older than I would typically go for but he has a job as a painter having a painter is an easy way to get money I never have my sims get with an older sim it's usually like same age so yeah we'll, we'll just see and then it's also going to be really interesting also because since he's older than her and aging slows down or stops when sims are pregnant he's going to be way older by the time their kids are growing up and stuff like that so he might actually end up dying before i even finish off this generation which might help lead into some of the generation two things maybe at least like storyline wise but i'm going to have them cook together make some dinner and i think i'm just gonna go with garden salad that's the thing that makes the most sense like she wouldn't make a grand meal like she wouldn't make a ham dinner on a tuesday night without any holidays even though we were planning on doing that at some point but that makes the most sense and i felt like grilled cheese and or maybe we can make some mac and cheese we'll have her cook with him and they're going to make some mac and cheese together and that can be them getting to know each other you know first date night without technically being date night i haven't actually used this feature yet oh okay so she called him over i don't think he can actually i don't know if he's going to be able to actually cook with her because this has stuff on this counter over here but we'll see oh no he could cook here cool okay oh this is cute i need thumbnail pictures i need thumbnail pictures eventually i will go in and like adjust his appearance and things like that i know i keep saying this but definitely different from anything i have ever done before but i'm curious to see how it'll play out and then if i feel like he's aging too quickly I can like have him get the reward drink thing that ages him down but for now uh, we're gonna accept his event I, I wait I hope this doesn't have them like go woohoo or anything but also if it does it could be a sneaky little thing like if she gets pregnant early on it's just like okay that's why they end up getting married and they're actually happy and they decide to stick with each other hmm I don't should I should I do it I don't know if I should do it it might happen on its own because it's looking like it might go there well oh well never mind I thought something might happen from his suggestive whatever it was that it just said but they kind of just flirted and then that was that she finds him attractive so now she has this little thing here we're gonna flirt we already know that he's single unless he got with somebody in a day 
Also, I'm going to take a second because her whims aren't appearing and I don't know why. So let me go refresh that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually had to load out and go to Manage Worlds and come back. But her whims are finally back up here. I like having these here because sometimes they get like relationship things. Um, we're not getting a beatbox. I always said she just stopped what she was doing and found herself staring at him. So it's just interesting that she like all of a sudden finds him like just basically drop dead gorgeous and she can't think of anything else we're gonna go ahead and compliment his appearance for a breathtaking encounter just let him know like hey i like what i see and you're what i see what can you explain to me why she put it like could she not put the food here because he was sitting there i don't know but wow that happened quickly she can already first kiss i do also have like on autonomous acts to be boyfriend girlfriend on so that could happen it happened in my 100 baby challenge i think that might be the video that's actually going up today or that went up today the day that i'm filming this do we want to invite him to stay the night um that might be too soon but we could give him a pickup line. We can offer him a rose. They had their first kiss already. What is this? We're notorious. Well, sure, whatever. Um, how do we even have a reputation? Um, oh, 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 oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it happen. Um, we're gonna rotate so we don't. I mean, the blur is on. But I still don't want anything shown. Just in case. But she can get pregnant from this. And I didn't do it. It was all her. So she gets pregnant. That's on her. I'm going to kind of just skip out until they're done. Because uh. Yeah. Okay. So they are done. I had them get dressed up before I <laughs> finished up. But um. Yeah. So I didn't. They just did what they did. Um, we're going to just go ahead and ask him to be our boyfriend. I thought nothing was going to happen straight off the bat. But she was just like, oh, you want something to happen? We're going to let it happen. So, yeah. I asked him to be our boyfriend. I probably should have waited till our actual relationship was higher. But, yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Well, I'm not going to leave the part here. But we're going to leave it this between them unless they automatically do something again like just what happened but if she's pregnant she's pregnant if not then okay i will have it where if she is pregnant that he's going to move in like quickly because you know she's gonna need help and she's gonna be like i wanted to be in a relationship but I wasn't expecting things to move that quickly. I was going to play some more up until my timer was done. But I have like a little bit over five minutes left. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and end this part here. We'll be left in suspense as to whether or not she's pregnant. Um, if you know how to read the motives, you can probably tell from the motive decay or not. Or, you know, you could probably tell from the motives whether or not she's pregnant. I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of whether or not she is but if she ends up being pregnant then I will have him move in in the next part if not then we'll just continue their relationship it will be kind of on a fast track because I do want to make sure that she is married and on the road to starting to have kids that's why I'm gonna leave it here for now I probably will play just a little bit off camera so that I can at least get her knees up but in the next part we're going to be seeing whether or not she's pregnant and seeing where the relationships goes from there and I will talk to you guys then I hope you enjoyed this let me know what you're thinking and let me know how you feel about Ryder and where you want this to go but yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well and i will see you guys in part two